What do you think it's worth? One of that Bible. Mark Person is Morris's cousin. I, I was told by a very reliable source who could have written a check, he said several millions of dollars. We could have sold it, certainly, but it never crossed our mind. You've walked away from millions of dollars. I know, but I'm not going to earn money off of slavery. That would be wrong, and I still see it that way. Wow. Strange Inheritance is back. Season four premieres tonight here on the Fox Business Network, 9 p.m. And Jamie Colby's the host. She kicks it off featuring the story of Nat Turner. He led the 1832 slave rebellion, a Virginia family who inherited his Bible, and they decide now what to do with this. Boy, something else on, by the way, good to see you again. Thank Senior. you. Nobody sees you around here because you're out doing these uh, stories. One after the other, 26 new episodes beginning tonight with a double header, and then tomorrow night two more, and then wow. every Monday at 9 p.m. Eastern on Fox Business we'll have two episodes. And you're right, this family had a tough decision to On make. Martin Luther King Day you tell the story, so tell us the story. And I'm glad briefly. it's airing tonight because yeah. it has such an important message. This family had lost loved ones in the slave rebellion of 1831. Nat Turner was carrying a Bible that gave him the courage and strength to try to abolish slavery, and whites got killed. Right. And this family was given his Bible after he was hanged as a memento. Hmm. They accepted it. They were custodians of it. They wrapped it in a dish towel, put it away, didn't really tell anyone they had it. And then finally they decided it was time to do something with it and have it authenticated. And then we arrived to learn that it really did belong to Nat Turner. The Smithsonian oh. African American History Museum actually came and examined it. Even they couldn't believe it, but well, it checked out. I want to play that one more clip because that is interesting. I want to give the whole thing away, of course, but the Smithsonian oh, not there's even plenty more. believing oh. the family, uh, which tells you uh, something about that. Watch this real quick. I said, this is the Bible that was on Nat Turner when he was captured in Southampton County. And they say, Okay, next. <laughs> That's it? That's pretty much it. They were very nice, but they didn't seem very interested. Were you concerned people wouldn't believe you? It never crossed my mind, because I have always heard since I was a little child that this Bible was on Nat Turner when he was captured. I would have to think just generally with this type of show that you're doing that that becomes an issue. Will you have something, maybe you don't know what it is, and somebody doesn't believe you if you do know what it is. Does that come up a lot? Or? You know, over the years when family lore is told, it becomes real. Hmm. But this family was convinced that it had to be because they have their own family church dating back to the 1800s, the right. person church. And they believe and have reason to believe that Nat Turner was actually baptized there. And so this Bible comes to be for them, and over the years, you know, they have this important decision. They could have cashed in for big, big bucks. Of it's course. priceless. But that's the message I wanted to bring today on Martin Luther King Day as we yep. remember him, that we also remember there are people in our world who believe in forgiveness, who believe in kindness, who believe yep. in unity, and they set a great example. And the episode well, is, is phenomenal in, in other ways, too. At 9 o'clock Eastern on Fox Business. And 9.30 as well. It's back to back. Thank you, Jamie.